We're into the final half of the season as we head here into Albert Park. Some news to touch on this weekend. Jamie Chadwick joins the grid for the Connor Sport team as Lance Stroll's one and done race didn't quite go as he or the team would have liked in Spa. Also, Lotus are coming into the weekend with some more upgrades. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of F1 23 Driver Career Mode here on the channel you saw it in the pre-show Lotus. How about them making some more improvements but as well we have two female drivers on the grid this weekend here in Formula 1 as Callie Mayer still replacing the injured Max Verstappen. As well, we have Jamie Chadwick joining the grid here for Connor Sport as they continue uh, to try and find the right fit while Mare is going to be out of the car for the foreseeable future while she replaces Max Verstappen here and now. And we focus in on Australia, a, a circuit here in Albert Park where I just haven't always had the best luck. It's hard to believe that here in Season 6 now, we have yet to finish on the podium here in Australia. It's It's been that difficult for me. We've never been on the podium in Albert Park. Uh, we've had mechanical failures. We've had self-spins, including last season with a self-spin here. Uh, things have never really gone... Uh, you know, really ideal here. So earlier, uh, or in previous seasons, this race is always earlier in the season. Maybe, you know, this time with Australia being in the final half, uh, maybe things turn around a little bit and, and kind of gives us some luck going into this Grand Prix weekend. We focus in on qualifying now, and we're going to head down this run straight away in Q1 to put in a decent lap here. This puts us up to P7 right behind our teammate of Drogovic. I was pretty happy with that uh, as Mayor would go P8. Jamie Chadwick threw into P13. Yuri Vips. Uh, Vesti, Ocon, Sato, and Sonoda all out. I was a bit surprised to see both Lotus rookies out uh, as their car has continued to make some more improvements. Into Q2 now and as well. If I'm Connorsport, I'm a bit concerned because I think Lotus is going to have the ability to pass them in the R&D maybe by the end of the season. We crossed the stripe in Q2. We would move through uh, barely. We were P10. Chadwick uh, actually out-qualifies her teammate of Jack Dewan in her debut. How about that? Liam Lost and the pair of Australians. 12th and 13th with the Frenchman uh, of Gastly there, 14th Zhou Guan Yu, P15, as that brings us now into Q number 3. The usual in Q3, usually we run uh, a pair of laps. Two laps is usually what we have time to get in here. Now as we come through the chicane, and my first lap was destroyed right there, so we would have to focus in on the second lap. So the first lap a complete waste here. Now as we go down through turn number one, getting through there okay in a pretty simple or pretty uh, similar time uh, all throughout towards the chicane here. We have only had about half a tenth of a gain, but we gained uh, a good bit there obviously, uh, and we were up over a second because now of course the comparison is to me running slow around the circuit, so really not quite sure what this is going to equate to now as we exit the final turn down the front straight away. What's it going to be to the line? It's only P10. My God, man, that's not what we needed. You hear my reaction and you see, I mean, I don't know. I can't qualify in any racing game to save my life. Albon, Jackson, front row while my teammate of Drogovic there in the top at three. Mayer goes P8. Let's head to the grid in Australia. Some work to do. Hopefully we can get a good start here down towards turn one. Welcome to Melbourne and welcome to the Australian sun. We're still getting used to some track revisions here, but the core hasn't changed. This is a beloved classic of the F1 calendar, and it's time for the Australian Grand Prix. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 14 corners and 3.28 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles per hour. Close proximity of the barriers make accidents inevitable. Recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. What a great lap from Alexander Albon yesterday. He'll start from pole position, and it's Aidan Jackson alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Drogovic, Leclerc, Hamilton, Norris, Russell, Mayer, Oscar Piastri, Golden Boy, Chadwick, Dewan, Liam Lawson, Gasly, Joe, Yuri Vips, Vesti, Ocon, Sato and Yuki Tsunoda. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. It's race day yet again and joining me for a chat is Natalie Pinkham. Now our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. 
What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? There has been an exponential growth in the popularity of Formula One, and it is fantastic to see. This is the glue that's bonding families together. This is the talking point on a Sunday afternoon as they sit round and watch the race as a unit. I love the fact that people are starting to appreciate the various nuances of the sport, the fact there are so many layers to it. This is the cutting edge of technology, but there's also so much personality and sacrifice, personal sacrifice, that gets drivers and race teams where they are today. I'm a little bit concerned coming into this race, just given our past at this racetrack with mechanical failures and just bad luck overall. Sauce uh, onto mediums, a sunny day, which is good to see. No weather going to impact us now as we get ready to roll from Albert Park. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. About three quarters of the field on Somme, but Leclerc the only one in the top 10 starting on the mediums in the Trackhouse machine. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right? Which ones have got it horribly wrong? Sorry about yesterday, boys. Not what we needed in this title fight, but I'm going to make it up today. You got this, mate. Just focus on getting a good start. We're ready to roll here from Albert Park now. And yeah, it's a McLaren front row. Of course, the championship leader, Aiden Jackson, looks to increase that lead even further today. Hopefully that is not the case. I'm honestly just hoping he has a poor start because if we can get ahead of him on this first lap, which is going to be extremely difficult, he's the front row. We're row number five, but it would be very beneficial here now as we get ready to roll from the Australian Grand Prix. 29 laps of racing. It's all going to start right here as it's lights out. We're racing and it's a slow start up ahead from several cars. We'll slip through the middle and there goes Jackson from down on the front row to fifth place. We'll go around the outside. It's been perfect for us. Tenth to fifth while Jackson's down to P6. You couldn't ask for a whole lot better than that other than, you know, we could be leading the race. That would be even better. Albon gets away. Drogovic wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's final Australian Grand Prix of his Formula One career. Now, as you can see everybody getting sorted out behind. Trankhouse driver Oscar Piastri going at it with one of the Andretti machines right there. As you continue to see Hamilton there kind of already stacking up this group of cars behind him. Doesn't look like that Ferrari's quite got the pace. Callie Mare, not the start she was exactly looking for. I'm under pressure. Aiden Jackson looking to the left side, but he's going to back out of it. Got the pair of Mercedes just behind with Russell as well as Lando Norris. Albon leads the way by a solid, solid margin already. He is trying to drive away and get out of here uh, and just run away with the win. But we have seen time and time again, he's going to find a way to throw this race, I'm sure. Last episode again, leading in Spa, self-spin, late, gave it to Aiden Jackson. I mean, Albon's own mistakes have given Jackson opportunities to increase that championship lead this season here now as he continues to open it up uh, by over 20 points at this point. And here he is now putting some pressure on the exit of the final turn down the front straightaway. This is a, at this point a championship battle. I'm not going to make it easy on Jackson. We'll go wheel to wheel, force his hand, and he's going to force it on me. Contact runs us wide. We're going to get credited with an illegal overtake. So now we have to move over to the side, let Jackson back pass. I'm not really thrilled about that one. So we're going to dive it back up the inside, wheel to wheel through the right hander at the, towards the end of sector one. More contact with Jackson. I mean, what is he trying to accomplish here, bro? He's certainly not going to be friendly today. Get after him. So we jump down to P6 there. Got a bit of grass on the left front wheel, so that cost us a bit of time, but the pace was still good, and Albon was continuing to drive away from the field while Hamilton continues to run second, but he's continuing to just be slower. So he's backing up everybody, which is great for us because it's bringing us into the mix, and now he's in a battle again with Drogovic up there for second. He stays ahead right now, but it's perfect because, I mean, here we are. We're right on the bank of Jackson, but, I mean, uh, we're, we're in striking distance of being in second place here as I, once again, dip a wheel there on the grass so uh, we lose some time but it's so easy to gain the time back with Hamilton just backing up everybody at this point. Leclerc there P4 on the mediums. He's in a really good position right now. Uh, you know being on the slower tire but he's able to have himself a good running position right now. Stay put in P4 as we get right to the back of Jackson trying to be smart about where I go for the overtake uh, as you're going to see now uh, in front of us. There goes Jackson in, in front of them. Uh, Drogovic as well going around the outside of Hamilton here. We might see two overtakes in one as 
Is it right to the back of Jackson? Where do I go? We just kind of have to stay put and let this play out. Drogovic still side by side with Hamilton. Jackson nearly contact with Charles Leclerc. He's going to stay put in behind while Drogovic continues side by side through the final turn. This could get spicy here with the DRS. Leclerc is in a perfect position, but Jackson's going to get a good run as well. And it looks like Hamilton's going to get the short end of the stick. Drogovic, no, he's not quite through yet because now he's got Leclerc going around the outside who goes into second place as Hamilton. Drogovic is still wheel to wheel as we catch Jackson. Off guard will pass him and now Hamilton shuts the door on us here. Jackson back up the inside, nearly contact again. Wheel to wheel, we get the power down, the grips there. We power through, take fifth place back from Aiden Jackson and Drogovic officially through on Hamilton now as we'll settle in uh, and try to get an overtake done here momentarily on the Ferrari and here we go now down this long bendy winding DRS straight away trying to get a little bit of slipstream from Drogovic Hamilton's actually just going to back out of it he's certainly losing confidence in that Ferrari uh, can Ferrari actually have a day where things don't go wrong for once here that's the big question now uh, but now up into fourth place behind our teammate of Drogovic well, I was trying to be smart about this Jackson is behind Hamilton. We need to gain points on Jackson. I'm trying to not help Jackson there, and I'm nearly trying to not help myself, but I'm trying to make sure we choose our battles wisely and, and look for an opportunity to pass Drogovic where it's not really going to lead to a big scrap and we're going to lose time and, and become vulnerable uh, to Jackson because helping Drogovic as well will help me in the process. So I was just really being patient at this point now. Uh, realizing Albon's long gone uh, at this point, it's going to be extremely difficult to be able to run him down without a safety car, so it's really just a battle for second it felt like with Charles Leclerc but here's the opportunity a great run on the back of our teammate of Drogovic still only one win on the season for Felipe that was early in the season round two in Austria wheel to wheel down towards the chicane he's not going to give it up easy here towards the chicane though he's going to back out we'll take the position up into third on the podium we go our first podium in Australia is in the cards today really no better day than to put it in the cards when we really need it and Jackson unfortunately though is going to pass Lewis Hamilton and he will move through into the fifth position now to my surprise I felt like our pace was great but once I passed Drogovic I found it really hard to drive away uh, and close in on Leclerc and Drogovic was remaining within striking distance of myself while Jackson he's remaining about uh, two to two and a half seconds behind in that threshold uh, right there so uh, yeah the pace just wasn't quite as much there but we will be pitting at the end of lap 13 so we were really just hanging in for a few more laps be before we put on uh, that set of mediums and go to the end of the Grand Prix. Yellow flags here and it's Jack Doohan. Jack Doohan down the DRS straight. A mechanical failure there for the Connor Sport driver. This season really hasn't gone, you know, quite the way he would have hoped. And now out of the Grand Prix here. Now as we come through to start lap 11, eight seconds to Alex Albon. And again, Leclerc is still about 2.1 ahead. Jackson 2.1 behind while our teammate Drogovic within half a second. We're just kind of, you know, going along with each other. He's got my DRS now. We're just trying to close in on the track house driver of Charles Leclerc. But it's just not happening and it's definitely not happening now because for the third time this season, a mechanical failure is going to strike and more crucially in the final half as we trail in the championship fight against Aiden Jackson who's going to go wide off circuit there. He couldn't see where we were trying to get out of the way and now he's going to lose multiple positions. There's no way, dude. This is just so stupid at this point. We need to talk. And you hear my radio. We're calling a meeting on that one uh, immediately. I mean, it's just every every season, these mechanical failures screw us over. And that's only the third one, but it, it's a crucial one. And somehow, some way, McLaren wins, but it's not Alex Albon. It's Aiden Jackson. Aiden Jackson finds a way to somehow get the win. And two Ferraris on podium. Hamilton and Cali Mayer on the podium. Alex Zambon, it appears he has thrown again. And somehow, uh, the driver that benefits all from it is Aiden Jackson, the number one driver that we did not need to get the benefit of anything going wrong right there. So that just made matters even worse. A mechanical failure and Jackson wins after maximizing points last episode in Spa. Uh, he's going to nearly have a two-race lead, I would assume at this point, depending on uh, how Drogovic finished right there. But I'm not quite sure exactly what he did yet. But 
just unacceptable at this point here uh, with the performance with this team. Uh, as you can see, Hamilton Mayer uh, as well as Jackson celebrate on the top of the podium here. Now, we are at the very end of this episode uh, going to have a very brief meeting with Christian Horner uh, just to touch bases. I mean, something's got to change quickly. As you can see, Dragovic only manages P8. Norris ends up 4th, Piastri 5th, this is just not looking good for Red Bull, and Alba dropped to ninth. while Gasly gets a point for Andretti, the results are just all over the place here now, and in the points, this is where the damage is done, this is where the frustration hits, 48 points back, and Drogovic 51 points back, Norris is back into striking distance, I mean, if Jackson has issues, I mean, there's a whole bunch of drivers that are suddenly in the mix, but... That's the thing. He needs to have issues, and he's not having them right now. Uh, before we wrap up the episode, let's take a listen in on the emergency meeting we're calling with Christian Horner. I'm so sorry, Gary. You didn't deserve that result, and I'm pissed off just as much as you are. So what's the plan? I mean, we've been with what Ford for, what, three years, and it's just been this time and time again, uh, screwing us from a championship contention? Look, your contract is up at the end of the year, and so is our Ford contract. I value you more. I have a plan. I will let you know in the morning. We need to make a change. 